Okay, so we're writing fractions with positive indices. So you get a question like this. You've got A with a negative 2 indice and B with a negative 5 indice. Like index, I should say. So this is the rule. If the negative exponent is on the top of the fraction, so if it's over here at the numerator, we can write it positive by simply moving it to the bottom of the fraction. So you take it and you put him down here and he becomes positive. So as soon as he crosses that line, he becomes positive. The same is true for the top. So if the negative exponent is on the bottom of the fraction with the numerator, the denominator, I always say that, we can write it positive by moving it to the top of the fraction. So your answer is going to look like this. A to the power of 5 is positive and B to the power of 2 is positive. So we've switched them over. So as soon as they cross the line, they change if they're negative or positive. I'm going to show you a few more examples. So write each fraction in index form with positive indices. Okay, so we've got 5x to the power of 4. That is positive. We don't need to move it. But we've got y take 7 with negative 7. Now we're going to move that up to the top. So we've got our rule. And therefore, it leaves the bottom as nothing, which you could put a 1 into it, which would just make it a whole anyway. So the answer is 5x4, y7. Look at this one. Write each fraction in index form with positive indices. So we've got x with negative 5 and then y with 3. Now, we don't have this in a fraction, but we can put it into one, can't we? So if we got, want to make that positive, we've got to bring it down to the bottom and make it the denominator. And we can leave this as the numerator. There's our rule. If we move it down, there's our rule again. So now we've got y to the power of 3 remains on the top. We move the x to negative 5 to the bottom, and then it becomes positive. So x to the power of 5. Okay, look at this one. Slightly more complicated. 6a7, which is positive, b, negative 2. So we know our negative 2 has to come to the bottom. Um, we've got c, negative 4, which you know we want to jump to the top. But before we begin, we've got a 6 and a 3. We sort that out first. So the first thing we're going to do is say, well, 3 goes in there two times. So we put that 2, and then we leave everything as it was. Now we're looking at them. So the a7 can stay. The b, um, negative 2, is going to go down to the bottom. And the c, negative 4, is going to go up to the top. And it's going to look like this, A7, C4, B2. You could do this. I want you to go and give it a try for me.